All right, it's lunch time. We're a little thirsty. Thomas went and grabbed some lunch for us, I think. But we're going with our good old reliable, Thomas likes this coconut water stuff. I like me a good old root beer. So that's what we're having to drink with our lunch. Thomas is pulling up right now. And we got, I don't know what he got. I think he got some Mexican food, but we'll see. But hey, look, we got ourselves a picnic table. I think we're gonna chill out. Yeah, and you brought the picnic table too. Oh shit. Yeah, that would work out for one month. Well, all he had was a... Uh, a blue bowl salsa. They had some chips ahoy. Oh, uh, open chips ahoy. Yeah. And open salsa. I got them on the clearance that uh. clearance shelf, bud. And look at these, they even had the new ones. Cilantro, ooh, that sound good. Yeah, it kind of creeped me out they were open, but <laughs> Hope they didn't double dip. So welcome back to Fabin's channel, you guys. Today, we are uh, gonna be fabbing up a bumper for this brand new Polaris Ranger 1500. And me and Matt have been crawling around it all about 10 minutes or so. And this thing is pretty tricky, you guys. Electric windows, it's got the front window that pops up, full gasket around, so it's weatherproof. The dash in this thing is like legit a little truck, you know, so. You've got your windows, you got wipers, you got um, four wheel drive mode, you got your lockers. You guys, it's got room here, it's got a middle seat. Now when you're talking side by side stuff, this would be my kind of side by side. I would cut, I would cut the top off, do a cage up in here, um, and this thing would be badass, I think. But let's get back to business. So what we're actually going to be doing to this thing, um, it's a North Star edition. I don't know what that means exactly, but what we're going to be doing to this thing is he bought this bumper, put it on, and as you can tell, it's huge. We just got done eating lunch on this thing, um, and it worked perfect. So what we're going to do is copy the design a bit. He wants to have it in half, so he only wants the edge of the bumper to be about here. The other issue we're having is the bump, the tailgate is hitting the bumper. So when you put a little bit of weight on here, all the big uh, hot girls he hangs out with or the logs he carries, I'm not sure which, uh, it comes a problem. And then his backup light also, all you can see is diamond plate. So we're gonna move these lights out, we're gonna drop the bumper, we're gonna get rid of the tow hitch because we got one right here and move the license plate up out of the way. So stay tuned as we get designing, building, cutting, and most importantly, fabbing. Well, right on guys, so right here we've pretty much got the list of stuff that we've talked with the client and he wanted to go, bumper needed to be half the width, one inch shorter to clear the tailgate, move the lights to the outside, and then angle them down so they're working as a reverse light, not blind your buddy behind you. Um, add two D-rings, that way we can make this machine useful and pull. Uh, move the license plate, it was in a bad spot, hung low, so we're gonna tuck that up underneath behind the bumper. Um, get rid of the cubby, get rid of the hitch cause we don't need it. So we did just shortly remove the bumper. As you can see, it was basically just sitting on these two prongs. So we're gonna try to reuse the existing mounts and build our brackets to attach it to that. That way this becomes a kit form. If you guys like this or have a buddy with a ranger or a grandpa, you can hit us up, we can cut you one out and you can build it yourself. Um, other than that, we're gonna get after it. I did get the bumper drawn up. So we're gonna check that out. So you can see here on the side, and that is kind of the angle I was telling you guys about. So instead of coming 90 degree, it's gonna kick back, putting the lights on an angle. Um, 
I am going to cut these legs a little along on the machine that way we can get the material in our bender and make the appropriate bend and then we will cut these off as short as we want them to be so super cool as soon as we bend this up I'm going to get Matt drawing up the light pocket brackets and the top plate and we're going to do those out of diamond plate tread which is super cool we don't use it a whole lot so we'll have a chunk of this left and we can use it on some of our other projects so we pretty much fire up the machine. Matt's gonna measure up the material that we are going to use. I'm gonna give him a hand here. Go all the way back down there. So we got plenty enough to tell the machine how much mach material we have, and then we can add our parts to cut. Pretty simple, pretty cool. So here is the dragon, cutting out the inch and a half, it does a lot of scribing, identifying part numbers, and what to do to the Against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, getting slow, getting fast I can roast, I can gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back uh, yeah, okay. Right on, Matt's got this set up in the bender. I'm gonna give you guys the drone video of uh, how we bend. Got it flying up there in the air right now. You wanna be drone? You pretty much just set the degrees right here and uh, watch it do its thing. Back to reality. We don't got a drone yet. Should we get a drone? We just fly it around in the shop all day, following us around. So once you pick the bend, you come back there and should be able to pull out your tube and you'll have a nice clean bend. Pretty nifty, works really good. This has two bends, so we're gonna reset it. So, yeah, does that make sense, bud? You're good. So, we'll put in the second bend and uh, bend her up, bend her up. So now that we have our two bent, we had to give it a little extra leg because our bender would not just grab it right where we needed it and make a 101 degree bend. So. We made the legs long, we just got it all measured out on the table, and we are gonna chop this and put end caps on. That is the first part to our bumper. While Matt's been getting that all set up, I just got done measuring and drawing up the brackets needed for the back of the bumper to bolt it to the existing brackets that are on there. There was no sense of changing all of that when all we needed to do was change the bumper. We are gonna have to cut this down to bring the bumper in, but that's uh, minor, realistically. So, Matt's gonna get this all chopped up and end capped, and I'm gonna get these brackets cut. We got end caps. I'm gonna get those tacked on right now. Got both sides all cut, and uh, let's get to tacking. So Thomas got these brackets all cut out. I got them tacked on. The bumper, well, the new, going to be new bumper. So now we're gonna try and mock this up. Fit this bad boy up, it goes on the inside. inside. Get one here quick. And those are super long bolts. This is what we had. she be just like that super sweet it's 
looks way better than that big old picnic table he had on there. Yeah, it's gonna look way better. So we've got this other drop down piece. Uh, we've taken basically measurements of center on both. So I'm gonna get us held up in there where I love it and Matt's gonna give it the old tackaroo. I'm also gonna have Matt look at it from the side and determine how far anywhere I'm gonna need. Titties and fitties, they say in Vegas. Well, it is Wednesday morning. We wrapped things up last night by uh, getting the CAD work done for the bumper and the plates. So Matt, first thing this morning, has been over here cracking on the computer. What is that, Matt? Looks like the top plate? That's the top plate. And then this one. Whoa. Whoa! Computer's glitchy oh. this morning. So we've got the top plates cut. We've got our material loaded on the bed, the cut bed. And check this out, you guys. It's a diamond plate. I haven't used this since the 90s. I actually built a couple rigs out of this back in the day and some. Guys would always make fun of me and tell me I was a redneck mofo engineer and I said, I don't give a shit, I can use what I got here, bud. They never had a rig. <laughs> so here's our bumper, we've got a good lean to it. And uh, we're super excited to get this thing knocked out. It's gonna be super cool, hitting it right on the nose, what the customer wanted. So, look like Matt's about ready to fire this up. Oh, baby. That works. Alright, so, do you guys, this is looking killer. Look at that. Pretty much got all the pieces are welded on, exception of D-rings, which we will do those on the table. We're going to pull this off, get it on the table, weld it all up, and uh, have a finished product here shortly. So, if you guys have a Polaris Ranger and looking for a rear bumper, we will have kits available. What do you think, Matt? Turn out like you thought? Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty turned, rad, huh? Turned out way good. There we have it. Cool. Yeah, so we just slimmed up the bumper, basically from what he had, and uh, pretty much just made it the exact way he wanted it. So I think it turned out super sick. We are gonna burn that baby down. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crash it in my car. Wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar. Just on my avatar, this world is so bizarre. Empty out the reservoir, yeah. I'll take the six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I Alrighty, we're done with all the uh, 
fabricating type stuff for this thing. Got license plate holes. Hole for the little license plate light to light it up for nighttime. Now we're gonna get the scotch bright in this bad girl and get it all painted up. Check it out. And I've been slamming on some tube while Matt's just handling this project, you guys. He's getting this thing cleaned. Paint prepped. And, uh, I mean, we're no paint booth, but we can handle it. Matt's got some, uh, experience in paint booths and paint shops so he's got a lot of prep paint work and knowledge which has been nice i usually just two on it and uh paint it boom we've got uh basically just set up our ventilation system if this door is open and all the shop windows on this side it creates a draft through here so we went ahead and got that all set up got the floors wet and we've got some Seymour paint, you guys. This stuff is pretty good stuff. I've done a lot of painting of parts and stuff out of rattle cans. Um, and I tell you what, this stuff sticks, lays well, dries really good. So Matt's pretty much setting up and ready to blast this one down. Uh, the color, it's just a semi-gloss black enamel, um, also from Seymour, it's their professional grade high-tech line. Let's sneak up on Matt and see what this wild wilder beast is up to. Watch the footwork, it's almost like he's a country dancer. <laughs> Some fancy footwork there, kid. And spraying, looks good, bro. Well, <laughs> now that we lit the, cure, the paint cure all night, we're about to uh, get this puppy bolted on and see what it's gonna look like. First thing this morning, I haven't put my hair up. Matt's still uh, asleep. half asleep, but that's all right, cause it's almost Friday, which doesn't mean shit other than we're going wheeling this weekend. <laughs> the diamond plate that we used on this actually looks pretty dang good with the paint on it. Kind of gives it a finished look. We've got end caps on it. Um, pretty much nailed this thing exactly what the guy wanted on his list, so. Kind of excited to get it on there and have him come check it out today. I'm by myself right now because Thomas went to the store real quick. Um, anyways, I'm gonna try and attempt to put this bumper on the Ranger by myself. Sure, it's gonna be fun. One eternity later. That looks so slick. Matt's getting these lights all bolted in. Got the D-rings. Gotta rewire everything. Matt's gonna butt wire it and solder it up. And then we are gonna have us a final product. Bad time. Yes, sir. Boom. 
Boom. Freshly clean, job well done, you guys. I think this is pretty much gonna wrap up uh, Project Bumper for the Polaris Ranger. Right on, we uh, typically don't do the side-by-side -side stuff, but when we're asked and it's the right kind of job, we'll take it on. If you guys like this video, the side-by-side -side bumpers, let us know. Maybe we'll start taking on a couple extra side-by-side -side projects, maybe do a cage. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing, baby. We'll read all the comments in the below and get back to you guys. Laters.